I'm Denise Rackley. I live in Switzerland County, Indiana, which is the southeast corner of the state. I use stock dogs to help me manage my sheep. Stock dogs allow one person to work stock by themselves and do it safely. Um, you can do it longer because the dogs are there to help you move the stock. The dogs are there to help you move the livestock away from you so you can open gates so you're not in, in immediate danger. Um, a lot of older folks feel like they can't handle stock anymore. The dog takes care of most of that for me. Um, they also, like I said, are invaluable with rotational grazing. So I'm able to graze every place on the farm without fences. Um, they, they just lend a hand wherever I need it. So I, as a single person and a woman, can take care of everything with the sheep that needs to be done. I lived out in South Dakota for a while and I got bottle lambs and 40 bottle lambs and 50 bottle lambs and, <laughs> and the lambs kind of started my flock and I got about to maybe 50 head of ewes and it's hard to manage 50 head by yourself. You know, you carry a bucket of grain and there's 50 ewes in front of you sticking their head in a bucket of grain. They don't care if you're there or not. You know, they want the grain. So I thought, well, I'll get a dog. And I did and it was a puppy and I went, oh heck, I don't know what I'm doing. So despite being a vet tech, helping people with their own dogs, doing obedience classes, you know, working in an animal behavior type environment, I knew all that, I still couldn't train my stock dog. And it took me five years to decide I needed help. And then I, I found another producer who was also using dogs and started working with her. Um, and then I bought a trained dog and he taught me more than any person. The SARE grant was to help me educate livestock producers on how to use stock dogs. A lot of livestock producers buy a pup, think they can train it themselves to have it help them, and often they find that's not the case. There's a whole lot of intricate things that you are moving, the livestock are moving, the dogs moving, and to be able to teach it how to work well and respect the stock and respect you takes a lot of experience and um, you can't get that from a book or watching the videos. So the program was a hands-on, they can bring their dog and come. And then I had a gentleman here, Jack Knox from Scotland, who's been raising, training and helping people use stock dogs for 50 years. So he was here to help everybody learn the best ways to be able to accomplish what they needed to get done. Yeah, my name is Kevin Beal. I live in uh, Burlington, Kentucky, just uh, south of Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, run uh, about 30 head of cattle, 135 acres of the neighbors. And uh... So I've been to several Jack Knox clinics here at Denise's. It's been extremely helpful. It's, you might want to learn to fly an airplane. You can buy a book and read how to be a pilot. You can go out and somebody will rent you an airplane or you can buy your own. You might be one in a hundred to do it or one in 10,000, but you probably want somebody to give you some help and okay, this is, you know, um, it's, it's not as easy as it looks. It's been very valuable to me and helped me with my cattle operation. and. It's, it's saved me a lot, of, a lot of time and a lot of energy. And, um, but I would do it over again. I'd buy a started dog. I would, there's no way around it. If you're just getting into this, you need it to start with a trained dog. So that dog has the experience to be able to help you learn where it needs to be, how to work it. It already knows about stock. And then you're just kind of along for the ride. And that dog will teach you more than you could ever learn from a person, from lessons, from anything like that. So once you have that dog working well with you, you know, a couple years down the road would be the time to get a puppy. Getting a puppy when you first start, it's kind of the blind leading the blind. Pup doesn't know what to do, you don't know what to do. And it's usually a wreck. That's the way I started. I don't recommend it. 